If you are suffering from rough and bumpy skin on your body, there is a really good chance that you may have the condition that I am talking about in this video. And there's an even better chance that you will be able to drastically improve your condition after you watch this video. This is not a video about acne. I am talking about different kind of bumps today. These bumps are the rough, almost sandpaper-like bumps that commonly pop up on the backs of our arms, but really can occur anywhere on the body. I am talking all about keratosis pilaris. You may have heard this referred to as chicken skin or bumps that look like goosebumps. And if you do not personally have this condition, you probably know someone who does have it because this affects between 50 to 80% of all adolescents and can last into your 20s and beyond. And even if you do not have this condition, maybe you have dry, flaky skin in general and are looking for some great skin smoothing products. This video has you covered. Now, even though we know this condition is harmless, that does not mean that it is worth forgetting about. I see many patients that come into my exam room complaining of this condition. So why do people come to the dermatologist for keratosis pilaris or KP if it's harmless? because KP can be really itchy and irritating or just uncomfortable. So patients will come in to seek relief for that. And others will come in to correct the cosmetic appearance of this condition. KP can be very noticeable and hard to hide, so it's easy to see how some people may feel embarrassed or insecure about it and want to treat it. And the good news is that KP is treatable for most people. That's why I'm making this video to tell you all about it. We have evidence-based guidelines for how to improve the appearance and symptoms of this condition, and I'm sharing all of the tips with you. Like acne and other skin conditions, it turns out that you can do a lot to improve it with consistent, great skincare habits and over-the-counter products. And of course, you don't need to break the bank to do it. I'm giving you my top recommendations from drugstore products and beyond and everything is linked in the description below. All of these are based on my own research and experience treating patients with keratosis pilaris. If you are wondering right now if you have this condition, let me show you some clinical pictures of KP. These are what we call follicularly based papules. So that means they are associated with the hair follicles on the skin. These follicles form a plug of dead skin cells, which turns into a small rough bump. Sometimes these bumps are just skin colored, but they can also be either darker or lighter than your skin tone or even red and inflamed. Another presentation of KP is just a ton of red, very fine dots all over the backs of the arms. And depending on your natural skin tone, these can be quite noticeable on some people. And that can understandably cause significant distress. I urge you to get help from a dermatologist for your condition if you are suffering, because there are many things that we can do to help you. We have plenty of recommendations beyond over-the-counter products. Now, you will mostly see the bumps of KP on the backs of the arms, but they can also occur on the thighs and legs, the cheeks and younger children, the forearms and trunk, so really anywhere. We see KP more often in people with very very dry skin or people with eczema or atopic dermatitis and people with a family history of this condition. This is more common in the winter or in drier climates. Just think about it. The drier your skin is, the more quickly and easily these keratin plugs on the skin will form. Some people suffer from this year round, but others may just notice it a few months out of the year. Okay, so now that we know the background of KP, let's get into the fun stuff. Here is how you treat keratosis pilaris. There are two components to your KP skincare routine. The first is appropriate moisturization habits and using the correct products for your skin. This is important because you want to keep the skin from drying out, which can worsen this condition. Nicely hydrated skin is key. I have a dry skincare video that I will link below, which has some great general tips that are applicable here as well, so definitely check that out. And the second component to your treatment plan is exfoliation of these keratin plugs or the rough bumps. This is the part that will smooth out this rough texture. Exfoliation can be achieved in two most common ways, chemical 
or physical exfoliation. Now, chemical means the use of topical acids like alpha hydroxy acids, such as lactic acid and glycolic acid, or beta hydroxy acids like salicylic acid. Now, these ingredients will loosen up and dissolve away dead skin cells gently. Now, Physical exfoliation, on the other hand, are products that contain a gritty, rough texture from things like grains or beads in the product that are supposed to physically abrade the rough bumps away. These are going to be marketed as body scrubs. Both can be effective, but I almost never recommend the scrubs because it's easy to accidentally be too aggressive with them on the skin surface. Now, this can damage the skin barrier, which then allows more water to escape your skin, causing more dryness, redness, inflammation, and more keratosis pilaris bumps, possibly acne and other issues. So chemical exfoliants are a much more gentle and safe option. Okay, so those are the two components. You need the correct moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated and a keratolytic, which is a name for a chemical exfoliant. This is your smoothing product. This keratolytic agent should have ingredients in it, such as lactic acid, salicylic acid, urea, or glycolic acid. That is what you are looking for on the ingredients label. Sometimes these can be combined into the same product, such as a moisturizer that has topical acids in it as well. These products are specifically marketed for rough and bumpy skin, which is a description for keratosis pilaris. So this is how my product recommendations are going to go in this video. Of course, everything will be linked in the description below. First, I'm going to give you my top drugstore picks. These will be effective, affordable, and most easily accessible. This is definitely the first place to start for sure if you have never tried anything for treatment. These are the ones that dermatologists are rattling off in their exam rooms day in and day out for years. They are true staples. Then I will talk about some more trendy brands that sell in stores like Sephora and other online retailers that are a bit more expensive. But are they more effective? And are they worth the price? I'll give you my expert thoughts on that as well. First up, drugstore product recommendations. The first brand is one of the most tried and true products to clinically improve your KP. It is recommended by dermatologists all the time. The brand is Amlactin. Amlactin products are affordable. Most products are under $15 for a large bottle. You can find it on Amazon or the drugstore. And it packs a high dose of lactic acid in it, which is the chemical exfoliant. One of the things that I love most about this brand is that they actually tell us the percentage of lactic acid ingredient in their products, which is very rare. Some of the other brands I will mention after this one do not do that. I also love that Amlactin has such a simple ingredients list, which is ideal for sensitive skin and eczema prone skin, which is so common in KP patients. And these products are fragrance free, paraben free, they are nourishing and hydrating, and they're pretty elegant for this price point. When you check out this brand, you will see four body cream options and one option that is a foot repair cream. Here is how you will choose. Option one, Amlactin offers a daily moisturizing lotion with 12% lactic acid. This is the most gentle option and is best for large surface areas of the body like your arms and legs. This is lightweight and very hydrating. You will want to use this one twice a day. Options two and three are from the Rapid Relief line, so you can think of this as your next step up. This comes in a lotion pump bottle and a cream form in a jar. The cream will be thicker and a bit more hydrating than the lotion form. Both of these have 15% lactic acid and will provide 24 hours of hydration. So if you want to only apply a moisturizer one time at night, for example, grab one of these. These are also okay to use over large body surface areas. In addition to the higher lactic acid concentration, these also differ from the daily moisturizing option because these both have three types of ceramides in them. And remember when I told you that you need to really focus on repairing your dry skin and maintaining that hydration? 
Well, these two options will really help with that because of these ceramides, which restore and strengthen your skin barrier and help hold that moisture in. And the fourth option is the Amlactin Ultra Smoothing Cream, which is thicker and heavier in texture. This also has 15% lactic acid in it. I like to recommend this one for smaller areas of excessive roughness, like the elbows and knees, the backs of the hands, and even the backs of the arms is okay too. This will not be the best option for an all over body moisturizer. And then they have the Foot Repair Cream with 15% lactic acid in it. This is for dry cracked heels and calluses on the feet. That is a separate issue from KP. It's just another great product by this brand for you to check out as well. And all of these are linked below. Honestly, guys, that is my go-to drugstore recommendation. But there are a few other options that get generally good reviews for KP, and some of my patients like these as well, so I'll quickly highlight those now. Eucerin has a roughness relief line that consists of a lighter weight lotion, a thicker cream, and a spot treatment product. These products aim to do three things all in one. They smooth the skin, exfoliate the dead skin cells away, and hydrate the skin barrier. These contain urea, which is moisturizing and serves as an exfoliant, lactic acid, and ceramides. I like that these contain urea in addition to the lactic acid, which is unlike the amlactin products. But my suspicion is that the amlactin products are probably a little bit stronger than these. But still, these are both likely to be effective for you. And these are also very affordable, under $10. Another drugstore brand with great options is CeraVe. They have a rough and bumpy product line to treat KP. I'm going to tell you about that now, but also share a little hack about CeraVe with you. So for the rough and bumpy line, they have the SA Lotion, SA Cream, and SA Body Wash. The SA stands for salicylic acid. These are different than the previous brands that I mentioned because these contain salicylic acid as well as lactic acid. For these, we do not know the percentage of these acids, so we cannot really easily compare the brands. I like salicylic acid as an ingredient to treat KP because we know that it collects preferentially in the hair follicles and the oil glands, so it does a really good job smoothing out the bumps of KP. Now with that said, research studies in our dermatology literature show that both salicylic acid and lactic acid are effective at treating KP, but lactic acid seems to be even more effective than salicylic acid. So I still give the nod to amlactin products, but regardless, I think these definitely can help as well, especially if you are a really big fan of salicylic acid, this is a really reasonable option. Now, these also have ceramides in them and other skin nourishing ingredients like hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. So this is a great all-in-one product to hydrate, nourish, and exfoliate. Now, I haven't talked too much about body washes for KP yet, but this one by CeraVe is a good option. It is gentle all around, but should have some benefit for treating these rough spots. I think this is a reasonable option to keep in the shower if you suffer from textured or bumpy skin. Stay tuned, I'll talk more about potentially better body washes shortly. So that is the CeraVe Rough and Bumpy line, but I'm going to tell you a little hack here. CeraVe actually makes an even better product for treating KP, but it's not in this rough and bumpy line, strangely enough, and it's actually marketed for a totally different condition. My final recommendation for CeraVe products if you have stubborn KP is to totally bypass the rough and bumpy line and go right for their psoriasis creams. They have two products that are wonderful, the psoriasis moisturizing cream and the psoriasis body wash. This cream has 2% salicylic acid in it. This is already different right off the bat here because we know the percentage in it and it's pulled out and listed above as an active ingredient. This means that this is considered an over-the-counter drug that follows a different set of guidelines in terms of proven efficacy. It also contains urea and lactic acid, which we know are key players for treating KP. 
And it has all the other goodness of moisturizers that do wonders for our skin barrier, like ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. The other key product is the Psoriasis Body Wash with 2% salicylic acid, urea, lactic acid, ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid as well. It's also a very great option here loaded with ingredients that we know can improve KP. Keep in mind so far that all of the products that I mentioned that contain urea, we don't know the exact concentration of that. Urea needs to be in a high enough concentration to actually be able to exfoliate the skin. It should be over 10% for this. If it is less than that, it's primarily acting as a moisturizer, not an exfoliant. You can find some creams at the drugstore or online that are primarily urea creams, and you can see an actual percentage listed on there, like 20% or 40%, for example. So what do you all think of these drugstore recommendations? Pretty serious stuff for such a affordable products. I can guarantee you that the vast majority of what is recommended in dermatologists' offices are from this list right here. But what about all of these other super trendy and popular KP treatments? These options I'm about to talk about are definitely more expensive than the drugstore options, but are they worth the price? Let's dive into those now starting with the ever popular First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser. This is one of the brand's best-selling products. This is currently $28. This is considered a physical exfoliant body scrub because it contains pumice buffing beads, so you will use this in the shower and wash it off. This focuses on the key ingredients of lactic acid and glycolic acid. That is what will be doing the smoothing work. Now, the specific percentage of each of these is not listed, though the package says it's a combined 10%. This is not super helpful. I'd prefer the breakdown listed instead. It does contain a longer list of ingredients with added extracts aimed to soothe and nourish the skin, and people really seem to love this product in general. I am not overly impressed with this particular ingredients list. Stay tuned for a better body wash option. First Aid Beauty also offers a KP body smoothing lotion for $26. This has 10% alpha hydroxy acids, which is partly lactic acid, if not all lactic acid. It's hard to tell exactly from just looking at the label. It also has urea at an unknown concentration and one form of ceramide only. This compared to the amlactin option, I give the nod to amlactin, which has higher percentage of lactic acid and more ceramides. The First Aid Beauty one does contain other skin soothing additives, which could be good or bad, depending on your own skin tolerability. So that's the First Aid Beauty brand. Let's compare that to the brand Derma Doctor KP Duty, which also is rising in popularity. They have a scrub for $32 and a larger jar for around $50 and they have a lotion for $38 as well. Both of these products are marketing a 10% alpha hydroxy acid mix. This has PHAs, which is another type of acid in their 10% mix as well. This also has willow bark, which is a natural type of salicylic acid. It has ceramides and it contains a number of added extracts like white tea, licorice, and frankincense. This is a bit higher price than First Aid Beauty and relatively similar in terms of the actually important topical acid ingredients. You can see a trend here so far that the more expensive KP products actually have a lower percentage of the important treatment ingredients than some of the drugstore options. They tend to also have a lot of extra ingredients like extracts and oils, which is their selling point to market them at a higher price and they have prettier packages and all of that. Some people love those added ingredients because they can soothe and nourish the skin, but others will really have an issue with them because they can be irritating and overall unnecessary to a large degree because these are definitely not the first line mainstay of treatment for keratosis pilaris. These ingredients are not supported by numerous research studies like the topical acid ingredients are, just so you truly understand what you are paying for here. There is no right or wrong answer, just information so that you can decide for yourself. 
Now I'm going to tell you about an option that I do think is a strong contender against the drugstore options and perhaps worth the higher price. It is by Glytone. I have these products linked below. Now, for someone like myself who is really obsessed with amazing lower cost products, I must say that Glytone is actually a brand that I really love and think has many higher priced products that are worth the splurge. They have a KP kit that contains two key products, a body wash and a body lotion. And it also contains a shower loofah, which does give you the flexibility to turn the gentle body wash into a physical exfoliant if you prefer. This is a rare example of a brand that has a stronger product, but surprisingly without all the extra fluffy extracts and oils added in. So it remains strong and effective, yet still minimalistic, which is optimal for sensitive skin people. The exfoliating body wash contains 8.8% glycolic acid, which is a lot, and it is much stronger than the other options we have discussed. And the best thing about this one is it's truly a chemical exfoliant, not a physical scrub. If you want to kick it up a notch, you can put it on the loofah and use it that way with a bit more pressure, but I don't think that is necessary because of that high glycolic acid percentage. Then you can follow that up after the shower with the Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion, which has a glycolic free acid value of 17.5, which is much stronger than drugstore options I've seen. Again, the rest of the formula remains simple, which is a very good thing. You can buy these separately or together as a three-piece kit, which is what I recommend so that you get the most synergistic improvement. This is an easy, out-the-door KP skincare routine. It is two steps, once a day cleanser and up to twice a day moisturizer, and watch your skin gradually soften and become more smooth. And don't forget to consistently use your sunscreen on the body as well as the face because regular use of topical acid products will make you more quick to sunburn, so make sure you protect yourself. I'm linking my favorite body sunscreens below. What do you think of these options? I want to know what works for you, so comment below and let me know. I really hope you learned something and feel ready to take the steps towards clearer skin. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more skincare made simple videos. See you soon.